I don't want to start all the LPs at the same time. I want to kind of have some ending while other ones are starting. Uh, if they're all at the same point in the game at the same time, like if they're all around 1600, let's say, at the same time, then we're going to be at you know a nice, comfortable place, probably, uh, for everyone. And I don't want them all to be comfortable. I want some of them to be really unsure, like, like we are here with Ceylon. Uh, I feel really comfortable right now because no one's even thinking of going to war with us. But at the beginning of this LP, it was so fucking ridiculous. I was just laughing my head off at, at how tough of a time we were having. Oh, look at this. Hindu zealots are taking shit over here. Oh, that's fantastic. Go Hindu zealots. <laughs> that's why I don't get the Vaginagar is Hindu. See? Hindu. And yet, Hindu zealots are conquering their... This has to be a bug. Hindu zealots have conquered a Hindu nation province. And the province... Don't get me wrong here. The province is Hindu already. If it's Hindu already, why are you... I don't get it. That's That's got to be a bug. Check Vinod. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going on my rants and I forget about this shit. Thank you. <laughs> uh, annex this shit. Uh, we have, or I have Japan videos going out all the way through Monday. So we're definitely going to play Japan this weekend. Uh, doesn't mean we can't play them before then, but I plan on playing them this weekend. Oh, we can do some buildings. Cool. Aragon. I played Aragon all day yesterday on the stream. Got about 12 videos out of it. Like six hours of it. Something like that. Those should be going up. Yeah, they started going out today. You weren't here yesterday. Well, that's okay. Uh, if you're at my YouTube channel, you can watch what happened yesterday. Because they all they all go to YouTube. Narenda embarrasses the court. God damn it, Narenda. How many times did I tell you not to embarrass the court? You stupid little sack of shit. You and your 39-year-old son. How old are you? He's 55 with a 39-year-old son. Jesus. So he started popping out babies at 16. That's pretty cool. Good for you, boy. I hate wasting stability on... I hate wasting admin power on stability, but we have to. Oh man, Ayat Haya annexed uh, Khmer. Yeah. So now they're back to being a powerhouse. But Pegu, look at Pegu. Pegu has pushed Atse back. Wow. So what's up here? Delhi declared war on someone. Gwalior and Kandesh. Alright, have fun with that. And Arakan has fallen apart. Of course they are. For Hindustan, we have to take over everything that Arakan owns right now. So we're going to have to go for them at some point. Them and their allies of Atse. Oh, they lost their they lost Delhi as an ally. That's awesome. We gained a theologian, which does Oh here he is. Uh revolt risk goes down. Why wouldn't the theologian help you with missionaries? But it doesn't. It just doesn't. I really should take this guy, but he's so expensive. He would help me integrate these vassals faster. He's just so expensive though. It's okay. We have money for buildings. It's all good. You 
You thought I had Haya was going to die? So did I. They were down to two provinces at one point, but then they annexed their, their vassal, and their vassal had a lot of shit. Their, Khmer starts out pretty big, but big doesn't matter because they also started out as a vassal. So now that Ayat Hai has conquered them, they get free cores, and I think that's, you know, a little cheesy, but whatever. I'm getting free cores too, so I can't complain that much. Inquisitors help with missionaries, you're right. But to me, theologian is study of religion, right? So he should be pretty good at helping convert people, maybe? Help people understand why they're wrong, rather than the Inquisitor just kind of stabbing him in the face. Do you convert? Yes, oh god, stop stabbing me in the face! We still have perfect relations with Bijapur and Madurai. Good. Yeah, Austria Austria has some problems though. They they do tend to annex a lot of shit, which is weird. I guess they're the AI just wants them to do it. They're like predisposed to annex everything. More diplotech, we're gonna get trade range and trade efficiency. Nice, trade efficiency, I like that. We're actually getting almost as much out of our trade as we are out of our frickin' huge vassals. So our trade's doing really well. But yeah, Austria tends to have a lot of problems once um once they've reached about, I want to say, 20 provinces, maybe around maybe around 30 provinces, everything just goes to hell. Oh, Delhi next Gwalior. Okay, so that was one of their Hindu neighbors. Now the only Hindu neighbor they have is Miwar. After that, they're going to have to fight uh, Muslims. Oh, Jonpur spawned again. <laughs> Arakan released him. Or the vassals won, whatever you want to call it. But there they are. Tech up? Yeah, we did. Alright, we got our um, legitimacy to 100. Now what? Incorporate Vinod. I am doing that right now. Great. 90% on uh, Carnatic. Cool. And then after we are done with Carnatic and Vinod, we can start taking more people uh, into new relations. So maybe we can look into... Um, Peacefully vassalizing Arissa, or I don't know, maybe we can go to war with someone like this dipshit. We're gonna have to go to war with him at some point. Who's he's allied with? Assam and Malabar. Yeah, that's fine. They don't really scare me. They don't frighten me. You don't scare me. Who's this? Is that Malwa? Yeah. Malwa's at war with uh, Madnagar. Oh, fucking Narenda. Now seriously, how many times are you going to do this to me? This is this is some bullshit here, Narenda. I'm sick of your crap. God, Narenda. Vagina Guard declared war on Malwa. Good luck with that. In fact, now might be a good time to go to war with Vagina Guard. As soon as we're done integrating uh, this idiot, Carnatic, let's take some dudes on a boat and head on over. Do we have a leader or did he die? He must have died. Well, this new king. I'm not happy with him because uh, he's embarrassed the court too much. So we're going to make him a, a leader. And hopefully he'll go die. Just go die, man. Just go die. So let's get up to Mysore and we can start the invasion. Oh, oh yeah. I have to finish the next thing first. Oops. I almost forgot. I totally did forget. A couple more months, we'll be done. 
I don't think his stats can ever change. Your leader's stats are set in stone. This isn't Crusader Kings. The stats never get better or worse, no matter how old or young they are. It just doesn't change. There we go. Integrating Carnatic. Nice. And uh, we already have a core. We're going to have to convert the culture, but they, they converted the religion for us, which is nice of them. Are we over our limit now? Probably. No, we are at our limit. Uh, should destroy a couple boats. I guess I don't need all these boats. How frequently are we going to have to go back to uh, Tropa Ceylon? Probably, like, never. Uh, yeah, let's split in half. And we'll delete the boats that are over the limit. How far over the limit? We're two boats over the limit. Alright, die boats, die. Aww. So that'll cheapen our cost a little bit. I can boot one of our administrators. Um, damn it, I don't want to boot anyone. I really don't want to boot anyone. Hmm. We'll boot him. So that'll save us some cash. How much does it cost to fund our troops? A lot. Alright. Uh, fine. Boot him too. Great. Group up. We've got a leader. Let's get our morale up. We need to clear war. And we accept Tamil. So we don't have to do anything. It's an accepted culture. Okay. Great. We're so tiny that anything we conquer is accepted immediately. <laughs> okay. Uh, show superiority. They're allied with Assam, Malabar, and Jaisamer. Jaisamer is up there. One province minor. Assam is over there. And Malabar is right there. So, there you go. Go, my pretties! Attack everything! We'll go to, um, we'll split in half. We'll go there and to Malabar. Oh, wait, did they not join? Yeah, they joined. Of course they joined. Oh, our navy. Um, do I really care about our navy? I mean, I'll fund them temporarily, but I don't really care. Oh, my vassals are helping out, too. <laughs> like, we'll save your navy. We won. We didn't, lose, we didn't even lose a ship. All right, everyone, just for now, just go dock up. Don't worry about it. All right, vassals are killing people. Great. Go vassals. Oh yeah, we could rename stuff, but eh. What do you got? You got spices? Oh, everyone has spices. We have three provinces, and they all have spices. We are the land of spice. <laughs> oh, that's a good name. Here we go. Old spice. Perfect. I didn't even check to see what this causes belly does as far as what we can demand from this war. Hmm. Yeah, Toulouse was pretty good. <laughs> I'm proud of that one. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, bring our navy over here. So that when we siege this province, we can pop out and kill their navy too. Because why not? More points. Oh my god, our vassals are making such short work of these guys. It's a joke. It's a joke. My Girona? Yeah, that one's good too. Sometimes I get pretty creative and I'm very proud of those times. <laughs> Usually it's when I'm drunk. <laughs> ah, he wants peace. Uh, let's see, what can we do with you, Malabar? What kind of peace deal can we get? Uh, we could just annex them, which would be a lot of aggressive expansion. Uh, we could vassalize them and convert them. Let's do that. 
let's vassalize and convert, and then when we annex him, he'll be nice and Buddhist. Great. Let's get a marriage with you as well. Cool. Where is Vaginagar's army? I haven't seen him anywhere. I mean, I guess he's up here fighting someone. Yeah, he's invading uh, Malwa. Well, whatever. Have fun with that. There goes Desh. And Kanara fell. Okay, so let's go fight their navy. And they died. Oh, we stole the light ship. Cool. We dock up again. Alright, what can we get out of this war? Well, first off, can we piece you out? You're really too far away to matter. You know what? If we go conquer them, we could force their religion. Nah, fuck it. Okay, what can we get out of Vaginagar? Mm, vassalization is... Yeah, it's too big to vassalize. We could force religion and take... I don't know, just some random shit. What does it cost for all this? Oh, 15 aggressive is not that bad. And breaking up their borders like this would really hamper them. Like, ridiculously. Let's do that. And then next time we go to war, we can just vassalize them. Entirely. Great. So he's converted, so he should convert all his lands for me. That's fantastic. I don't have to worry about it. Then next time we go to war, we just vassalize them and then annex them, and they'll already be Buddhist. Delhi's getting bloated. Yes, they are. Look at Delhi. Everyone look at Delhi. They are... They're really close to doing the Mughal Empire, aren't they? Probably not much left to do. Can they convert yet? That is the question. Hindu, Hindu, Hindu. And no, it looks like they still can't convert. Everything is Hindu. So we do have a leg up on them that we can actually convert. They cannot. Uh, yeah, we're actually going to make our new, like, capital area this province. So let's core it. Core it. And uh, convert it. No, we can't. We have to wait now. National institutions. Lose stability or lose some power? Eh, lose some power. Great. Marathi revolts. Ooh, where's this? 12 nationalists in Kanara. Well, we happen to have 12 or 17 dudes here right now, and we're fully, fully funded. So bring it on, bitch. Ah, uh, we gotcha, you stupid rebels. Who's this? Balmanis wants military access. Sure, whatever. I don't care. Die, rebels. Alright, and there's not taking any attrition, are we? Oh, there's a huge supply limit. 39 supply limit there. I love it. Alright, let's unfund the troops. Everyone go cheap. Cheap. And let's hire a couple douchebags back. Who can we get? National tax. That would probably be very useful. Oh, we can get rid of our inflation. Let's get rid of our inflation real quick. Just bring it back down to zero. And what else do we want? Tech cost. Yeah, give me some tech cost. And yeah, that's going to cripple our economy again. But that's okay. We can also build some shit. Um, marketplace? Sure. Have a marketplace. So are we going to suddenly accept Telegu? And Marathi. Looks like no. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Yeah, the, mu the music's very nice and relaxed. I enjoy it. Some There seems to be a really huge discrepancy, though. Oh, a revolt. Uh, between... Actually, we don't even have to fight it. We'll let our vassals fight it. Go, Madurai. There seems to be a huge discrepancy discrepancy between the volumes of some of the music. Like, this music is very serene and peaceful and quiet and relaxing. I enjoy it. 
but some of the music is really loud, like super duper loud compared to the, the other music. It doesn't make any sense. They should be all about the same volume, but they're not. Anyway, we are integrating the nod. Uh, we should, well, we could try to get relations up, or we could see how fast we could integrate someone else. Let's see how fast we can integrate um, these morons. Now let's do these guys. They've been our vassals the longest. Are my vassals not going to fight them? <sighs> do I have to do everything myself? Who's this? Ahmad Nagar wants access. Sure, whatever. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Fund them just for a short time, please. Got some rebels to kill. And the rebels are dead. God, they die fast. Yep, time to be Diplo Annex. That's exactly right. Because you actually get uh, a bonus to the speed of your annexation based on how long they've been your, your bitch. So the longer they're your bitch, the, the quicker you can annex them. It's true. I wish I could afford this guy because he would annex things very quickly. But he's too expensive. Shen is uh, older than 20 and younger than 50. It's a fact. Everyone's declaring war on Vaginagar now. Well, that's not great. Because they've got no army to defend themselves anymore. So they're just going to give in to whatever peace deal anyone wants. But they did convert Vaginagar. That's good. Alright, we're good on Madurai. Uh, Madurai, yep. Get out. And let's see how long it'll take to annex this time. Hopefully less than 117 years. Yes. Only 9 years. Oh, 12 years. That's better. Because <laughs> we're the same size as he is now. We got, what, 4 or 5 provinces? So, yeah. Religious leaders show the way. Gain stability. Oh my god, we got a stability event? Are you kidding me? Wow, I like that. I'm actually really loving that our flag is a goat with a parasol. <laughs> it's so unique. Who the hell has a goat with a parasol? <laughs> oh. oh yeah, and as if it wasn't enough of a punch in the face that all of their land is conquered by enemies. But now they have peasant rebels in their capital. Because, you know, that's what you need. <laughs> okay. Jaisimer was enacted was annexed by Sin. Yep. So that's fine. Oh, the white elephant gains to... Are you kidding me? All right, what's going on? Hold on. All right, we gain cleansing of heresy against Brahmani. Okay. And Vajinagar will give Telangana to Brahmani. All right. So we probably should declare war on this idiot like as soon as our annexation is done. But we got two stability events in a row. I can't believe it. That's amazing. I don't think I've ever had that happen. Oh yeah, patrol the shipping. Thank you. Uh, this guy. Uh, Ceylon, yes. Thank you. <laughs> I always forget stuff. Uh, 
And the rebels were successful in Vaginiar. Yep, too stable. Time, time to send like 50 million comets. You're right. And Bamani's collapsed, and they no longer control Telangana. Hilarious. I think that means we lost our Kaza's belly. King dies three times. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> yeah, this king won't die. He's his heir is forty six. That's how old he is, and his heir is so much better than he is. <laughs> he's just refusing to die. He's embarrassed the court twice. He won't die in a war. He just won't die. But look at this. We're finally getting our divine supremacy. Oh yeah. So that's gonna make it a lot quicker to convert provinces. And I don't think we're going to continue up this tree, so we're just going to ignore the rest of this shit. Although I do like better relations over time. Maybe we'll save it for later or something. we got to start getting our tech up. Okay, Vaginigar is now a one province miner, and that is depressing. I was hoping to vassalize him with, like, four provinces, but oh well. Oh, what the hell is this? Pegu is getting invaded by Atse. Oh god. Yeah. Atse is the man. They are the man. With level 7 tech. I'm so jelly of their tech. Why don't we have level 7 tech? We got level 5 tech. Malwa, level 8. They're at level 8! So not fair. I don't know how they're doing it. Well, it probably has to do with our king having a military still of zero, and he's been on the throne for fucking ever. He just won't die. Alright, we cord Kanara. This fucking king won't die. Uh, convert it. What's our chance? 2.1% per month. Nice. That's going to be quick. Oh, look at that. It's just steamrolling. It's like... 1%. And stability dropped, the king died, finally. But now, now the problem is, even though we have a good king, oh, his heir is, his heir is even better. Five, four, five. Even though we have a good king, he's taking over at 47. He won't live very long.